This is insane. I'm Andy Jenkins. I'm the art director at Girl Skateboard Company. These are always a treat to open up because they're um, usually original Hecox pieces or copies of. This series was really cool and I, it pretty much got overlooked, I think. You can see Evan's pencil drawings. Kind of need to see the very origins of the illustration. Yeah, here's another pencil drawing. So I think what we would do with this is just scan, scan his artwork and then pop the colors in ourselves, unless he had specked them out somehow. And a lot of times he did, because he has a really good sense of color. Oh, this is this is another set of Hecox's. I guess this is my Hecox's drawer right here. But he did a whole set, set of postcards, old style postcards. If you look in there, you can see different LA skate spots, the car wash, banks, different school, different school benches. Pretty rad, huh? Yeah, you got like the China banks here. This here, this is my very first portfolio. Let's see what I got. Now, this was a giant ramp that I painted with Jeff Tremaine. House of Kasai, does anyone remember that? So these are all the, the plies before we put them up, put them up on the ramp. Just, oh, here's a shot of the, the ramp at the ASR. Chris Miller. Dinky. Yeah, this, this was a, um, a fake movie that we did for a, a trade, well, a trade show that we were in. We made a movie theater so we could show, you know, our newest film. We did a bunch of fake movie posters to go with the theater that we made for the trade show. We made a little mini theater. And that was one of them. Oh, here's another shot of the ramp. Tony Magnuson. Oh, here's the original, original wrench pilot. This is the very first wrench pilot that I did for um, Thrasher Comics. It was supposed to come out as like a six page um, comic, but then uh, they, they turned it down. They said they didn't want to run it. And then what I did was I reformatted the comic. Now you can tell, like, this is all green and stuff. It's really old. Um, I reformatted it and then Transworld bought it to run in their magazine. I don't know why Thrasher turned it down. I never got a straight answer on that. But this was like 80, 88, I want to say. So this shit was not happening on handrails. I was just like guessing what was going to happen down the road. 